I'm officially done with work. And, um, it's about right the way my body's reacting. Like, hey, you're done. Let's fall apart. So, um, yeah, just, I don't know, just woke up exhausted and still, I'm just having just a lot of pain. And I feel like this shouldn't be that painful after a neck biopsy. In my collarbone and my arm and like when I take it, I can't, like I, when I breathe, it hurts. It hurts up in my collarbone, hurts in my back. It just, I'm sick of the pain. I feel like I'm starting to be in chronic pain. This is going to be my new norm. I don't want to have anything, um delay or any um postpone getting my car t cells tomorrow so i'm just gonna suck it up go get my central line in the morning pull my car t cells and have that part be done so i just want to heal and get better and not have illness and pain be my new norm it is probably one still in pajamas woke up late still doesn't feel real that I'm not going to be working like I literally want to check email right now it's mental anyway this is the update before the car T removal I feel super whiny but I'm, I'm just sick of being in pain and I know people have chronic pain I am really really uh, empathize with you and uh, it's hard to focus on anything else at least it's sunny I think we're gonna go on a drive to see the leaves that would be good for me I can't even open my eyes um, yeah that would be good okay update from um, getting car T cells tomorrow later okay, bye. Here's okay. our beautiful Jessica getting her T cells uh, yep. pulled off. Is that how they're doing it? Yeah, yeah. Dropping her calcium a bit, but mm -hmm. she's taking Tums every half an hour. Yes. Okay. And so she's enduring this. So I had I had the central line placed yeah, today, line. and so these tubes are then going to this machine. Yep, to pull out my T cells to be harvested and then put back in me. So it's taking just what it needs and putting the rest back in and me. When, and are they putting them back in right now? Yeah, they're taking just the T cell parts, I guess, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the blood, um, the plasma and like red cells are going back into me. And then the T cells that they harvested, what do they do with those? So then they will take these T cells, they will go to California, and they will have like a spa day oh. in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> and they will, <laughs> and they will, uh, That's what we all yeah, they'll be programmed like little warriors to then come back into my body and fight off my multiple myeloma, my multiple myeloma specifically. And this is supposed to be like amazing, kind of new really top of the line treatment for yes. Home, right? Yes, this is like the newest, best treatment that um, has really, really great results. Yes, so. I, I've heard that it's turned around the treatment, so that yeah. gives me such positive hope that those T cells, they're going to do really great, right? They're going to do great. I know, and so right now I'm feeling very like neck, you know, my neck feels like violated. Yeah, so I mean, I've still got this, and now I've got this, but this will be pulled out at the end of the day, yeah. and um, and then we'll wait, and then we'll just wait till they're ready yeah. in four to eight weeks. She's doing beautifully. Yeah, we should update Orion. Okay. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm home, got 
to the hospital at 7.15 and uh, got home at 4. So that took some time. Um, <clears throat> I'm puffy. You probably saw that earlier because this morning actually when I went to um, Intervention Radiology, um, I got really sad because um, the last time I was there, I was with my mom and I just thought of her, hi, and how many appointments we've had. I went with her and the last time I was there was with her. Aspen would like to say something. Um, and so it just kind of opened, oh my gosh. Wow, this kitty needs some attention. Um, and I, the floodgates open and then I just started crying and then I, it wasn't like bawling, but like tears coming out of my eyes, like even going into the interventional radiology room and they're probably like, this isn't really going to be that bad. It's okay. And I'm like, I know, I'm sorry. It's just, it's, uh, my mom died four months ago and I went up, I went to interventional, interventional radiology twice with her. And just remember being there with her and and it's hard not to think of like watching her journey and path and then you know seeing her die and then I feel like I'm also in a cancer journey and I don't know I, I got real. I just was really sad and emotional and also I think I just feel just tired or defeated from just the constant visits to Huntsman, the constant acute care visits, the surgery last week, and then, um, you know, this today, I just, like, I want a, a break from pokes and prods and imaging and, and, uh, yeah, I get a week, I get a week of nothing, like, no, nothing, N no work, no chemo, no, just recovery, just recovery. Anyway, that was long. I'm, I feel like my neck, I feel like the song like, cancer came in like a wrecking ball. Or yeah, I feel like my neck's been at a battlefield. I know there's a song about that, but I'm just not gonna sing it. Anyway, that's my update. Tomorrow's gonna be a great day.